I think we're seeing a very encouraging trend over the last four years. The costs have really leveled off. Medicare has been uh, the lowest increase we've seen in all of history, actually. We've never seen a lower increase than we've seen in the last year. So we're seeing fairly consequential changes with regard to price and cost, but we shouldn't rest on our laurels, we shouldn't sit on our hands, we still have a lot of work to do. The biggest culprit we have with regard to cost is our fee-for-service system, which rewards volume, which rewards uh, excessive use. Upwards of a third of all the care that we get in this country uh, is arguably unnecessary, and that's driven in part by fee-for-service, which drives enormous costs uh, in addition to uh, challenges to quality. So we've got a lot of work to do. Well, I think you're right that people don't realize that we are at historically low levels of increase in healthcare costs for everyone, business, workers, as well as the elderly and the federal budget. I know from your Senate experience, there was a lot of concern that Medicare was adding to the federal deficit and uh, that it really needed radical change, but now we're seeing maybe a trillion dollars over 10 years of lower Medicare spending, in part as a result of the Affordable Care Act. And in addition to that, as you well know, we've extended the life of the Medicare program by almost five more years as a result of these lower costs. So a lot of good things have happened. I'm still troubled by the politicization of health and the challenges we face and coming to terms in our country with the need for addressing meaningful change in cost, access, and quality. Uh, but I am very pleased at uh, some of the progress we've made these last four years.